and um, we will now talk after the ports we will uh, overview what is uh, uh, the trends and technologies uh, regarding to marinas uh, but before I, I would like just to um, to introduce uh, mr uh, mr antoni Chio. so maybe you you can you can introduce yourself and say something if it's, well uh, uh, thank you i don't I never like too much talk about me, but um, my life has been always um, liar to the, the sailing. My passion was to, to race. So I moved to La Rochelle in 73 to learn how to produce sails. And I, after being in Germany, United States, learning sales with the best sail loft in the world, um, I found my own company in 78 and I produced sales until 2010. Uh, as a sale maker, I got nine Olympic medals with my sales, uh, beside other um, very good results in Whitbread around the world or local and international regattas. Uh, actually, I'm a member of the Barcelona Real Club Nautico, the Yacht Club of Barcelona, a member of the board and um, president of the Barcelona Nautical Cluster. Okay, maybe we can we can say something more a bit Barcelona Nautical Cluster. I think it's an important uh, actor in the in the Mediterranean. So maybe it's uh, we are quite interesting to know something about more about uh, your cluster. Right. Well, the cluster was. Um, you know, Barcelona Harbor is divided in five harbors. One is containers, then you have cars, import and export car, then the oil. Fourth is the, um, the cruising. We receive three million tourists until the coronavirus appeared <laughs> um, in Barcelona. Uh, we are the first in Europe and second in the world after South Miami. And the fifth harbor of Barcelona is the part of the harbor that the city coming into the harbor. We call that the poor city. Uh, this, and this is one street of Barcelona, is the Porvel, that means old harbor. And in this harbor, we have one uh, living uh, worldwide company in repair and refit. So in 73, in 2013, the City Hall of Barcelona and the Harbor Authority, they decided to organize this area, uh, promoting a cluster and they offered me the challenge. So I accepted. So, and actually we are 90 members, public and private, members, Museum Maritime, universities, professional education and companies, everybody who is interested in to have a relation with the water of the harbor. Okay. This cluster, um, we decided to analyzing the um, the value chain that Barcelona can receive super yachts because we have a worldwide repair and refit company. And um, the second axe we, we develop, we decided to develop, is the change of paradigm in the world that the people buy hours of boat most than boats. So we promote charter, um, working in four tables. These tables are the international promotion, business opportunity, educational is the third, and the legal frame is the fourth. Actually, in, we have 350 companies around this area, and uh, we have mostly uh, almost 9,000 uh, direct jobs, but we are much more indirect and in, into it, okay? Yes, um, really interesting. Uh, and maybe one question would be, uh, it, it's uh, it's important, so the role that uh, also the, the marinas played in the creation of the Barcelona Cluster Nautic, I, I, 
I understand. Yes, the marinas is um, because in this change of paradigm, um, we have in Catalonia, we have almost 600 kilo, kilometers of coastline. And in this coastline, we have 46 uh, harbors and marinas um, with around 36,000 moorings. So it's a real, um, these marinas are mostly created 35, 40 years ago when um, the demand of the nautical industry and the boat shows was moorings. It was difficult for the companies and the shipyards to sell a boat if you don't have a, a mooring. So we, 35 years ago, we, we pressed the authorities to develop the marinas. And that has been a key to develop our industry. Now maybe we are in another moment. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's really um, also considering uh, um, the position, I mean, in, uh, in the Mediterranean, because uh, when we talk uh, uh, about uh, marinas, uh, we know that Mar uh, Mediterranean is one of the target, let's say, destination with a lot of marinas in the in the whole area of Mediterranean. Yes. And, uh, in this sense, uh, I know also that uh, the moorings also increased in the last year. I think uh, I believe in uh, in your in your area. Yes, they increase a lot, but uh, in our area, in Barcelona, um, we develop marinas adapted to the one of the two axes of we decided the cluster must develop is the 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 big length boat, the super yachts and the mega yachts, because yes. you consider the marinas in in our in our country in Catalonia, we have an average of a uh, few hundred mooring per harbor as media. The biggest harbor in Catalonia is 1,600 uh, moorings. Uh, what is medium in medium average? the medium average in France. So our marinas with 400, 200, 500 moorings has a management not easy. But if you increase the length, not because you decided to change the, 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 the length of the, of the people who buy boats, but because you read that the marking is going up to the super yachts and Barcelona has the conditions to receive it, we adapted the marinas to this new paradigm. Okay, it's, I think it's important even to just to, to note and to um, uh, understand what are the, the changes that the market is driving to specific marinas. As uh, in this slide, I was just showing that how how important it is the Mediterranean in terms of boat charter, in terms of of. Uh, activities related to marina, the, the jobs and the turnover in sense of uh, uh, value. And uh, I think uh, it's, uh, maybe we can uh, overview the, 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 um, just to clarify that there are some differences in terms of uh, classification also related to, to birthing uh, and uh, in the Mediterranean and to, to the marinas, since we, we could have anchorage moorings, berths, dry marinas and marinas. This, let's say, are the four category that we could have, but re with the recent developments, uh, we had uh, and uh, uh, let's say an evolution that broke to the uh, diversification among uh, super yachts and mega yachts. So, with uh, that, that could be, uh, as you can see in the slide, uh, from uh, from uh, 24 to 86, we have a super yacht, then we have a mega yacht, more than 86, and then below the 24, we have all the let's say the normal boats. Um, I think you also have in, in your uh, in your era, uh, let's say, this diversification as as I understood uh, in relation to the um, to the di different marinas that you have in uh, in Catalonia. Yes, we we have in the Barcelona area the capacity to receive um, two hundred something uh, super yachts, uh, two hundred in Barcelona, but north and south. Uh, 40 kilometers, we have some marinas capable to hoist uh, 40 boats until 50 meters in the north 
and uh, 80 in the south okay and these um, these marinas um, uh, has, uh, receiving these super yachts and mega yachts will realize that the, 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 they improve and they move very high the nautical um, economy around the marinas because the enemy of the industry is um, the parking of the boats and the owners uh, under 24 meters sometimes they just use the boat 12 days a year so this we have to promote the charter for the smaller boats of the 24 because the mega yachts itself they already develop a very strong economy considering that um, a 86 meter mega yacht has 65 members crew members with a very good salaries and when where the a mega yacht or super yacht has the mooring spends 15 percent of its value per year in the mooring when he stays that means that a boat who costs 200 million euros develop three and a half millions in crew members in fuel in provisioning in apartments in tourism around a special um, you know we have an, a special uh, agreement with tourism of barcelona offering premium package for these people who demands guide michelin restaurants a special opera house they they offer uh, snow trips and we have all around barcelona so this is what make very interesting these marinas if you are capable capable to develop this part of boats in your area okay that's really uh, a big a great value add for the territory i believe that's it that's yes because you need this industry needs to and the skill two conditions one is the language this industry has two language english and foreigner no more and the second we need is the excellence so all the universities and educational schools prepare the students to adapt to this marina and this industry supply good salaries with that value permanent in the time that sometimes the normal tourism industry make a low salaries economy so it's a very interesting socially industry to have around yes i, I believe it's also interesting like in this slide uh, just checking also uh, because there is a big word when we talk about the marina we are not talking uh, as you said also just uh, uh connected to mooring but we have all the supply equipment uh, we have a uh, sailing schools we could have also related marina services like hotels and restaurants and then uh, uh, as we see also dry birthing and uh, insurances and true uh, travel tours like leisure services charter companies skippers and then as as we can see in this box that uh, that i'm that we are uh, screening uh, also in relation to yacht and boat brokers then until coming to the ship demolition recycling let's say that all these activities are somehow related to the marinas and uh, it is a really uh, a diversified assets that a marina is managing so it is also high complex i believe just to uh, combinating different assets while uh, uh, in in one place that could be a, a marina yes and, and and it's amazing how the new companies appear appear people who has been crew members of this industry uh, they create companies um, worldwide established now and they are based in barcelona or in, in other places but we have a locals who work around the world and they define themselves as a 360 degree service for a boat they try to they solve everything under the man of the crew member of these super yachts that means schengen visas 
a school for the kids when the boat is in repairing refits, everything you can imagine, flowers, uh, limousines, uh, food, extra food, wines, oil. You can develop very, very local industry adapted if they are they have the excellence to adapt to this marina. So the marinas now becomes uh, a focus of economic leadership for many, many sectors around uh, the area who make the companies to improve in language and in excellence. Okay, interesting. So uh, the spillovers are, are even wider than what uh, what is uh, like represented in this slide. So let's say that they are continuously improving in relation to the services that are somehow requested. Um, and I, I can also, I can notice that as, a, as I was saying before, in the Mediterranean, as, as specifically also in your area, but also in the, in the somehow in Italy and, uh, and in Greece, um, and also Croatia and Montenegro, we have a, uh, yeah. a, a huge coverage of marinas with a lot of um, investments. And uh, I also believe that there's a diversified uh, uh, category of marinas that investors are, are looking at uh, while they decide to, to to make a choice, let's say. Also, I think maybe um, it could vary from country to country. At, um, also, I believe that Mediterranean is really an interesting uh, and a primary uh, destination when someone wants to uh, wants to approach uh, a marina and uh, uh, like this this sector. Yeah, I think um, this is um, a new aspect of this industry who attract investors and uh, local authorities who in the beginning they consider this as a billionaire or rich people and socially was difficult to justify in investment in a marina. Today, they realize that um, you can create quality jobs, as I say before, in this area. And all the Mediterranean is waking up because you have um, the resting Adriatic movement in Croatia, but in a few days you will see probably Albania. You have Montenegro, very nice uh, luxury marine, but north of, north of Africa is the same. There is a new marine in Tangier, but you have others and I will, all the Mediterranean um, is uh, in, a, in a very short time, I bet they will develop because the two areas in the world are Caribbean and Mediterranean because the culture, because the quality of the gastronomy and the, the life. And uh, this is an industry who, who is very interesting for the government if they, if they look after. Yes, maybe, maybe we, can, we can talk a, a bit about the marina trends. So, as we said before, uh, there is a, 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 an increase of the number of moorings, uh, increasing demand of moorings from large vessels, uh, and um, also energy, energy is, is important. We will see later in the marinas, digital, digital services, and also facilities. Uh, let's say, uh, I, I believe it's also impacting in the, in, a, um, in the amelioration of the facilities connected to marina. So um, maybe we can say something, maybe uh, we can briefly comment if, uh, if these trends uh, uh, are also confirmed uh, um, in your area, or maybe we can some add some something more. I don't know. No, no. I think you, you, it's a very interesting point because you are in um, the blue economy has to be sustainable, of course. And one very important thing is that that wake up the universities and uh, the knowledge society to solve the the question that um, the ecosystem needs. To be developed. For instance, all the moorings for large vessels, of course, when they arrive on harbor, they stop engines and they are connected in the electricity. Um, it's very important, but the same in the repair and refit areas, uh, all they have filters, they develop very sophisticated system to prevent, to keep the media the sea, the, the, the sea, the waters, everything uh, better than before because it's our is 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 in the in the place that we have our economy. So we have to keep the environment 
better and better. So this develops a lot of technology and the harbors have to, de is developing the, the smart harbors are the, 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 the professor who uh, in, uh, was talking before is talking about uh, the, the, the liquid gas or the, the smart pores, the applications when you arrive in a harbor to to introduce the papers, the Schengen visa you can do on online, the marinas has to be pre prepared for digital service and we are more advanced than we thought in two years. People is moving fast because they know that no return. Yes, maybe maybe uh, I was much curiosity, maybe also um from your perspective, also from your experience, uh, just a few uh, curiosity in relation to the marina. So maybe what are the, the marinas uh, designing that also uh, at this moment requested by the by the market? So do we do we think about a big, really big marina, uh, really luxury, or maybe small marinas with uh, small residential uh, centers with specific moorings? Uh, what uh, what uh, what is the let's say the market from your side looking for? I think that the marina, the already existing marinas, has to adapt, be adapted, in my opinion, um, uh, to the new paradigm. That means to prepare the moorings, not 100% for the ownership, because the boat they are just uh, sailing using the boat 12 days a year, a media. That is a disaster for the economy of the marina, the management and for the, all the suppliers and the tourism uh, restaurants and uh, ship channelers and boutiques around. So you have to prepare the marinas in areas for charter. That means that the charters, people sometimes they are in holidays, so maybe they have to be far away of the when the people rest, okay? The second part of the existing marinas is as much as you have the deep enough and you are in an area uh, that um, a super yacht can be there because the super yachts, they are not going everywhere. They are, they are going to the places they have a good airport near where the repair and refit uh, services are uh, reputed with excellence. So, or because it's a very natural entourage like Greek islands, Adriatic, uh, some Italian shore, or Costa Brava in Spain, Balears Island, okay. So the marinas has to be uh, prepared for that, eh, for the charter and for the long. And for the rest, uh, has to be as much as possible, well prepared for the brown waters, electricity, to be suitable, they have to be very clear that is an ecosystem uh, perfect. An example, because otherwise some consumers penalize when you are not in uh, in uh, suitable. Mm -hmm. But actually, from from your experience, uh, the investors. Uh, in uh, in the marinas are more uh, let's say local entrepreneurs from spain from europe or maybe from other other let's say continents uh, uh, far east or uh, usa or so on russia well i think everywhere there are uh, i have a friend who say that we have too much things in our world and one of the things we have too much is money. <laughs> there are too much money in the world. So the money is moving and uh, trying. The money is always ready to invest in a, in a good business. So you have to make attractive manage, uh, project, easy to be managed, adapted to the 21st century. In our case, we are very lucky that we have First of all was local investment, then was an English group in, in, the, in our marina in Barcelona for super yacht, then was a, Turk, a Turkish uh, investor, and now is a local investor, uh, but is a family office, and uh, these, these people, they have uh, both uh, the, 
the super yacht marina and the repair and refit business. So that's a very good news because they understand the business and they promote locally um, a very interesting because our industry today is not Italy, for instance, is a very good country or Turkey building boats. You are very good good industry in in Italy, but in in if you look the numbers of repair and refit in the world is a very good industry and equal or more than to 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 build new boats. So I think the repair and refit and investors need both repair and refit and marina who are quite close to attract the boats. Okay, so it's a combination between these two. Let's say yes. areas. Yes, um, I think we 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 see we we seen before what are the difference between uh, the marinas in Catalonia and uh, let's say France and the other part of Spain, and um, maybe uh, just a uh, uh, a last comment, another comment just before uh, um, deepening the the technology uh, drivers. Uh, maybe what are from your perspective, what are the services? Uh, need or needs of the customers of the marinas well i think uh, i read once um, has to be friendly environmental i think people uh, wants uh, that is clean that is that is blue that is uh, eco ecology okay and uh, that means um, uh, no waste uh, efficiency with the energy um a smart because now uh, one one grandfather in switzerland say the only way i can, my my grandsons come in my boat is at the, is the the wifey i mean wifey is the key for the new generation so how do you extend uh, because today a captain uh, 30 years ago managed the owner of the boat we will go here we'll, now the, the the owner arrive is a four years old international guy take the mobile say look we have a um, uh, guide michelin near here i want to go to aerospatial globus trip i think now you need a lot of um, information not only of the marina but what you can do uh, two hours driving around or half an hour helicopter uh, trip because all these people they have this mentality the golf course the ski and you can do that in 20 minutes helicopter trip you know okay yes i think it's it's really a, a rising issue and, uh, and really the customer demand and the customer needs are becoming even primary uh, when we are talking about marinas um, yeah. now would we'll just uh, review let's say some uh, technology drivers that uh, we can consider as primary when talking about marinas. Uh, the first one we already we talk about that. So we are talking about green and environmental friendly uh, marinas. And this means uh, like um, uh, dealing with uh, hybrid propulsion, as we said before, uh, facilities yeah. short to deal with batteries, maybe, and then uh, reduce emissions, uh, renewable energies, or uh, but even as I said before, the waste management. Uh, and um, also materials and treatments that we could use in a marina. I think that there are, these four are becoming uh, uh, really important when we are talking about marinas and, uh, and uh, let's say topics that uh, are even, even in close connection with the regulation, they are becoming really important. Yeah, I think uh, even we have to think about that the cars arrive to the marina and they need uh, batteries on hybrid propulsion also so it's all the conception of the carbon is here and to and will not be removed in the, the next 20 years so we have to invest and put i repeat the universities to develop system and spin-offs there are a lot of business opportunity to create because all the marinas like all the cities has to be with efficiency and energetically uh, no waste management uh, all the circular economy what will we do with the boat when they are finished their life so we have we we work on that all the time in fact we have um 
with the University of Mataró in Techno Campus next week. Uh, we have a contest with the students uh, introduce eight um, blue economy projects to apply in the marinas. This is we have to promote the students of the universities to think about because they are young, they understand that, they know that the, the, the world and the, and, the, and, and the sea has to be protected more than everybody, and they have to, to use their education to make, to be entrepreneurs, to develop a, a professional skill, saving the planet. So it's not just um, a phrase, it's a reality. So I think it's important to develop that, yes. Okay, and also, um, as we said before, the ICT is uh, it's everywhere. And also, as we said before, uh, it's uh, for the customers, for even for the smart marina, for remote management, for the IoT, for uh, digitalization, uh, in terms of mar ad management of administ administrative documents, uh, and also to port registration procedures. So in this sense, uh, uh, I think it's becoming quite uh, like one of the priorities of Marina, but together even to in integrated management of the assets and also to in somehow to optimize uh, um, the, the, the asset management, but in relation of lean manufacturing. Maybe this, uh, this is also uh, something that, uh, you, uh, that you consider uh, uh, really important when talking about um, marina management and uh, also optimization. Yeah, I think, yes, the marina, the, the remote management for the smart marinas, everybody's talking about years ago. Um, someone, they have already something. Imagine that people used to have the boat maybe 200, 300, 400 kilometers far from the mooring because they live around. So. To have an application in your mobile telephone that you can uh, you can have an alarm in the boat hill of if the boat moves because um, the, a rope is broken like the, the the last storm you know people demand that but also the consume of your boat when you are in the mooring but I think it's very important to define an application who includes everything. Because today we have applications with good ideas, right and left, two things, three things, but I have not seen yet the complete one. So I think we are in a mix today. The, the, the marina itself, the management, the responsible of the marina is doing the most of this, of this um, uh, the, uh, the system they are adapting uh, and it depends on the kind of marine and the client you have and the area you are uh, you need a digital solution or another one so the global one uh, in my opinion is is not appear yet but it will come yes i think it's a interesting perspective in this and um, also the last but not least as we said before facilities in the marina you know for, to be adapted in relation to the mega yachts and super yachts facilities uh, docking uh, safety and security energy demands and um, other sensors or uh, let's say when talking about uh, super yachts mega yachts and facilities we should consider marinas but maybe sometimes even areas of uh, city ports that are destined to super yachts and mega yachts and yes. I think it's, as we said before, it's really important even in relation to that, uh, to consider all the solution that could be used for, for, for this yacht. So I think electricity is also a, a really important uh, issue. Very, very important. But uh, most all the super yachts, hot marinas are, are already adapted. They know the, the power of electricity they need, the investment are done. Uh, some of them, they have the pipeline uh, completely under earth and they arrive uh, to, to fill the pipeline, the, the, the demand of fuel. All these things is quite modern. I think the important is also to understand 
how the super yacht and mega yachts uh, protocol uh, they, they do. I mean, they one crew cannot go to another boat to meet another crew friend. Okay, so in the marinas you don't have never people on the moorings talking. So they are inside the boat, or you have the marina has two kind of centers one center with a gym and restaurant and, and rest area with with all the system they need computer uh, wi-fi connection everything but the protocol of the of the super yachts are security but also pri private ambience so the marinas needs to have center for the crew and center for the owners or 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 high crew you know so uh, the energy demand and all these things and, and and safety is capital but if you don't have that the boat never come back they say in the five minutes a captain decided if they will come to this marina or or never will come back uh, the okay. slogan of one marine in caribbean is arriving is the beginning uh, so uh, when the captain arrived to the um, in five ten minutes that they, the mooring has been done uh, so yeah. through the receiver they don't touch the boat but after the boat is in the mooring they disappear the the, the, the marina personnel so the captain decided it's a, a super yacht marina I like and okay. uh, you know it's some protocol you have to know yes and also maybe electric mooring could help in this sense maybe yes. something electric devices maybe yeah. also i think uh, the the last point is in relation to recycling and the end of you end of use of boats since a lot of marina are becoming a sort of hubs when talking about um, uh, fiberglass or other materials so i think uh, it's new trend even to consider how this could be done in an environmental friendly and sustainable way in order to optimize uh, maybe in a circular um, in, in terms yeah. of circular economy and to use uh, all the equipment and all the uh, let's say materials here there is a big a big back of opportunity to create new business uh, for the the guys who live from the engineering universities or biologists they can create is a challenge is a challenge that is mandatory in the very very short time so there is a business opportunity there so so maybe uh, just a closing remark maybe when when you are talking to your students in relation to the marina um let's say innovation you could share also this uh since i let's say drivers that we we overviewed today and of course <laughs> And I think it's we, we are we are approaching the end of the of the of the uh, of the webinar, and actually I don't know uh, even if there are I think uh, I I have no evidence of questions from from the from the 